Well, hello. Today we're going to take a look at the 31 doozy and kind of a variation guide for you. First off, isn't that sticker cool? I got it from Germany. The first one up, 1977, the 31 doozy was released. Redline tires. Made in Hong Kong. Of course, I always get it upside down. The open tabs on the bottom. So, that's pretty obviously a 1977 having the red line tires on the orange. Brown fenders. Then the next one up is the basic wheel black ball. Probably the most common out of the bunch. Orange. Brown fenders. Made in Hong Kong with the open tabs on it. You'll see later where they close the tabs up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this one right here I have already a part. See if I can. Pull the body off. All right, you have these little clip tabs right up here they just snap in that's the way the original the original ones were designed to have a snap in uh, axle and then later they closed it off and made it a crimp style where you don't snap in the axles the machine actually crimps them into place so that's why that was sitting there Okay, so we get about to 1980, and that's when the uh, base changed for the crimp in style. Still orange, still brown fenders. The fenders did get lighter colored, and the roof was shiny. I forgot to show you the difference there. So on the closed style, you have no texture on the roof. You can see the gloss, it's shiny. You take the red line one or the black wall open, it has like a textured roof to it. So it's not shiny. So the earlier ones will have that texture. About 1980, you'll get the shiny roof. the closed base all right also in 1980 you've got your shiny roof again they changed the fenders to green and the paint to green with a yellow stripe on the side made in Hong Kong still of course it's upside down again you got your closed area but they must have changed the base at some point not just the roof you also have ones that uh, don't have Hong Kong on the base all right the next variation up is a really tough one this has got the green fenders, orange paint, also made in Hong Kong. So you have the closed thing still. Yeah, they must have had a lot of leftover tops or something. I mean, they did make the orange one for a lot of years. That was your next variation, about 1980, right there. Variation after that. If the other car rolls away. This is actually made in Hong Kong, but it has no uh, base stamp for Hong Kong on it. 
still has the yellow on the side, green top, green fenders. And these tops do come off, by the way. So you'll see missing tops a lot of times. You're better off just buying a whole car with the top already on it. Than uh, trying to replace the top that you need for these cars. Relatively inexpensive, available in a lot of different sets. But yeah, for some reason there's no uh, base stamp on it for Hong Kong. And I do know they are made in Hong Kong because I, I have them in the package. Alright. So, this is one. No base stamp. Your standard... Uh, about 1981 package. Let's see what's on the back. Flying Bronco. Woohoo! Love this set. But yeah, see, made in Hong Kong. So it is made in Hong Kong. At some point, they uh, replaced the base, made a new one. And it didn't say Hong Kong on it anywhere. All right, the next variation. Green, green fenders. And a light green stripe on the side. You got a shiny top. And made in Malaysia. Same car. A little different color, but made in Malaysia. Alright, our next variation from the extra series came out in red enamel brown fenders made in malaysia upside down again and the wide white walls which were introduced brand new this is what you uh would have got it would have been an extra piece brand new wide white walls on it yeah, the package is a little yellow, a little crunchy. But this is the extra series. There's the next variation has red fenders. I think it looks way better with red fenders. Nice wide white walls. Closed base, Malaysia. They would have come just like the other one. So that's your extra piece. With red vendors. Wide white walls. Alright, our next variation was out for a lot of years. Came out in about 1986. Focus... Oh, yeah. Now it decides to focus. Anyway. Really nice plum color. Got like plum color fenders. See the roof is still shiny. Made in Malaysia. It's got a bar cast over top of it. But yeah, this was out for a lot of years in this color. And uh, it had different shades too. So this is uh, the lighter plum is about 86, 87, 86, 85, somewhere in there. And this one, uh, this darker maroon, it's a little bit later, ran all the way up to the blue card era. About 91, 92, somewhere up there. So it ran a long time in these colors. Do not know why it does not want to focus on anything. Huh. Wide white walls. But you can definitely see a color difference in them. So our next color variation is yellow, 1995. The Treasure Hunt series. 
limited edition, only 10,000 made. So it's got those pro circuit style wagon wheels on it. Little red Hot, Hot Wheels logo, black, shiny roof. Actually, I can't tell if it's textured or shiny. I do not have one out of the package, but there is a warning. Contains small parts, which is the roof. But yeah, so it was available in the Treasure Hunt series, 1995. That was our next variation. I need to put this on autofocus or something. All right, go to the next one. All right, our next variation was available in chrome with red lines. Yes. Chrome series. See, it was made in Malaysia. Chrome plastic fenders. Chrome metal interior. Or actually, the interior is plastic part of the fenders. I meant the... Uh, body. The base is not chromed. It's got a nice black roof. Probably the same roof. Since this is 1995, the same year as the treasure hunt, I'm guessing this is exactly the same roof that's on the treasure hunt. Alright. Our next variation, really nice purple with purple fenders, really dark, black roof, Malaysia again, looks like they have a bar across it, and the 31 doozy, hmm, this came out of American Classics 3 pack, has uh, real rider tires on it, rubber. Painted headlights. Markers, maybe? Well, the headlights are painted anyway. But yeah, it's got a purple interior. So they must have actually painted the fenders. I know that's all one piece here. There, they painted this purple. I'm not 100% sure what got painted. I'm thinking the fenders got painted the same as the body color. You see the luggage bag on the back? It's got the little straps painted. That's pretty cool. All right, the very next variation white with purple trim. This is available in the international market only as the Duesenberg 1931 came out on like the short card. See, this one's kind of in bad shape, but let's see what kind of package it is. I meant to replace this, but I haven't yet. So yeah, it came out international market only. The back of it, I guess. Yeah, a lot of different languages. But yeah, anyway, it's got the lace wheels. Really nice white and purple. I like how that looks. Black fenders. The black roof. Popping. Popping colors. We got some dust on it. But yeah, that was the very next model. It must be why they cast a bar across this. No longer called the 31 Doozy. It's called Duesenberg 1931. Alright, our very next variation here. Got metal flick green with green side stripes. Nice tan roof. <clears throat> Nice rubber plate walls on it. Those are really nice looking. I like them. See some Malaysia. It's got the bar cast across it again. Hot Wheels logo on the tire. 
Oh yeah, that's a spare tire carrier. I didn't know. We got luggage rack, spare tires, all the luxury. Uh, show you this set. Came out of the classic collection from the FAO Schwartz set. A bunch of cars came out of here. So there's your 31 doozy. Got an Auburn Cadillac. This is the Cord Talbot Lego, which I actually have all the variations of that too. I probably could do that if anybody's interested. Phantom Corsair. They all have rubber tires. Except for, uh, the Phantom Corsair doesn't have the white walls on it like these other ones. Probably because you can't see the wheels that well, but, but yeah, it's a pretty nifty set. I've got most of my cars both carded or boxed and loose. Just some of the sets don't fit up there. The next one is the, this was issued as the Duesenberg Model J. Let's see, it's still got the black roof. Black fenders, Hot Wheels logo. It's only on the one tire carrier. Made in Malaysia. They've always had this closed base on the casting. Still has a removable top. Really nice metal flake red. Ugly lace wheels. <laughs> I just don't care for those wheels. Never did. I guess they look okay on this car. But, I, I don't know, I prefer the black wall look. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. Alright. 2001. This was released as the 1931 Duesenberg Model J. With a white top. Nice chrome accent. Black fenders. Middle flake red. Made in Malaysia. The five spokes look pretty good on this, actually. I don't mind five spokes too much. The lace wheels I can do without. Five spokes are nice. But anyway, this is the way it was released. Let's see, it says 1931 Duesenberg Model J on it. So it's a little tough when you're going after 31 doozy variations and most of them are listed under 1931 Duesenberg Model J. So if you look up Duesenberg, sometimes that helps. But yeah, this one's got a white top, black fenders. Five spokes, a lot better. And here it is. This is our very last variation. This is the final run. Two thousand three. Nineteen seventy seven to two thousand three. Says right there on the hood in the skull. Sad day. But it does make it so you can <laughs> Rest in peace. You can collect all the variations now. They've stopped making them. So there are only so many variations out there. Still has the removable top. Has for all those years. Malaysia. So its final resting place was in Malaysia. Go to Malaysia and steal the molds. Build some more. I, for one, was sad to see this car go. 
I've been collecting this casting for a long time. Started out with the orange one as a kid. Really liked that car. Don't remember ever having a red line necessarily when I was little, but I didn't remember that they even had the red lines on them. So, yep, this is your final run, your final 31 doozy. Issued as a 1931 Model J Duesenberg. All right. Thanks for watching. Sad day. Bye-bye. Yeah, but excuse me, sir. You forgot to mention all the Leo variations. Now nah, we're not doing those. Nope. I don't even know how many colors there are. Go away.